Hi there. Good to have you back. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. This is a follow-up of the seedling video that I did yesterday because I wanted to show actually the unpotting and the troubleshooting about the Cattleya leopoldii that I have here in a little bit more depth. But the video was already very, very long. So I'm just going to add this video on right out the back to back for the next day so that we can see the difference between the two Cattleyas. And I already mentioned in the video that one was dead as I suspected. Didn't make it and I was okay with that because I had a second piece. And then the second piece was not performing as well as other seedlings were performing and I quickly snagged a replacement Leopoldii from another nursery. And the reason I could troubleshoot this seedling to not be performing is because of that comparison at the end of the day. And because the order that I got this Leopoldii in was such bad quality orchids that I thought I got myself a dud. Which is another analysis that one can actually determine when you get a seedling in, is it growing well or is it a dud? And unfortunately, it takes a long time to identify a dud in an orchid because sometimes they can go down fast because of rot or pests or something like that, but not necessarily when they are actually supposed to be growing normally. And then you have to kind of wait the 15 to 17 month acclimating process and seeing whether the orchid itself is a dud or is it acclimating. So it takes a long time to be able to determine if a seedling is still performing as it should in your environment and to no fault of your own, can it be a dud? In this case, my opinion is quite clear. This is a dud. And I say that even now, I'm seeing here, there are two new growths trying to start. There's one little nubbin and there's another little nubbin. Honestly, I am so tempted to just throw this away. Now we have the situation. Is it going to go into rehab? Is it worth it? Leopoldiaes are super slow growers. But when there is something like this happening, ah oh man, I'm going to have to give it a go. So I'm going to clean up everything that I can and I'm going to get my ICU out. You see how, oh, hello. Look at the color on that. Huh. Let's have a look. The backs are just falling off. Ah, the thing is here is a conundrum. If I cut into this rhizome, Oh boy, see if I cut into here and take this one off, I have another storage organ gone. Even though it's desiccated, there is some life in it if there's anything to happen with the two new growths down here. Oh dear. Let's get at least this back part off and have a look. I don't like the color here. That's it. See that right there? I don't like that one bit and I have just taken care of my tray and I'm going to have to take care of my tray again. That is Fusarium. So this is not going into rehab, this is going into garbage and all of this is going to be sterilized, including my secateurs and I'm going to wipe down everything here with Fisan 20. Yeah, well, there we go. That was the result. Quick follow up. It's a dud. Let me get my other. No, just one second. I'm going to sterilize, remove everything here, wash my hands with Fisan 20, and I'll show you my other Leopoldii. 
as a comparison in case you didn't see the video yesterday, which I will link in the description below. Here is a healthy Cattleya leopoldii seedling. After acclimating for a year in my climate, in the new setup, in my environment, it is producing a new growth as it should. And when you deal with something like Fusarium, it can take quite some time for the symptoms to show up. And on top of that, you're also observing the orchid to see if it is acclimating. And then almost three years later, you have your answer. So I did want to do this on camera yesterday, but again, it was going to take too long. I have the confirmation now that sometimes seedlings are duds. And with that, it would not be of any fault of any grower that says I, my seedlings aren't doing well. Not all seedlings are duds, as you can see, but time will tell whether it is behaving normally and a comparison and knowing the attribute of the orchid and how it should behave is paramount to be able to cultivate seedlings and get them to grow into blooming size orchids. Yeah, there we go. I was not expecting the F-bomb. I wasn't. I just thought it was a dud in another way, but there we go. Goodbye to Leopoldii 1 and 2. Welcome Leopoldii 3.0. Thank you ever so much for watching this short video. I am glad we could confirm something. And with that said, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope that the seedling series, the Care Collab was of help. And I have the link to my video in the description below. Have a great day, everybody. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.